are back in the CEC office in Warsaw uh, with our managing partner, Michał Koczalski. Hi, Michał. Hi, sir. Uh, the main event uh, in Polish politics of the last week was uh, President Andrzej Duda's six-day visit uh, to the United States. First, he was in Washington. He also visited the West Coast later on. The front page news was about increased security and defense cooperation. Uh, but we know that there are also so, uh, some important decisions made about energy cooperation for, uh, between the United States yeah. and Poland. Yeah. Um, the first concrete sign of this cooperation was the signing of a deal for LNG imports from the United States. Uh, this is another in a series of deals. Is this one uh, symbolic or strategic? Well, I mean, I think this whole visit was a hell about strategic. I mean, it's uh, not only the defense sector, which you, which you mentioned, which gained us another a thousand plus soldiers to be, to, be, to be located in Poland, but also, as you mentioned, the, the whole energy aspect. And I mean, LNG is, a, is something that has been under development for what, over 10 years now. And, um, and I think that this is yet another milestone that the Polish government managed to achieve by meaning that signing the deal for a 20 years contract for imports of, of LNG from, uh, from the United States as of 2022, which is a symbolic date, because this is when our uh, long-term contract with Gazprom uh, uh, vanishes. Um, and by that, if we look at the numbers, the numbers are very promising because we talk about uh, circa 9 to 10 million uh, cubic meters of uh, LNG imports annually after 2022, which basically is one to one of what we're getting from, from, from the Gazprom contract. Uh, important note is that it is not so that this gas will be 100% used in Poland. It's a free on board contract type, which means that we can actually, the moment it gets on the, on the ship in the United States, we can actually resell it where, wherever we want if we, if we, if we manage to, to make a deal with someone else. So this puts Poland in a situation where we're not begging for taking the gas, but actually are uh, becoming a player, not, not on domestically, but globally. Uh, you uh, yourself recently came back from uh, Washington. Uh, have you heard any buzz about this deal? Is it considered a good deal? Well, you know, I, I talked to, to, to a couple of people who are doing what we're doing in Warsaw, so lobbyists in D.C., and it is actually a topic uh, in, in D.C. I mean, um, Poland is really a top one or top, among top one or top two countries uh, on Donald Trump's agenda in terms of uh, building a stronger alliance and building like a real closer ties. Of course, it's a, it's a business deal and it's, a, it's all business driven, but nevertheless, we are uh, very high on, on Donald Trump's administration uh, in terms of treatment and priorities. Um, so this is point number one. And point number two is that LNG, it's still coming to its golden years. I mean, this is, this is a branch of business that is, that is developing right now very rapidly. I mean, if you look at companies like Chenier, for instance, that is actually really uh, rich in cash right now. I mean, they're, they're probably number one in the world right now in terms of where they are, how they stand financially, and in terms of prospects of development. Uh, we are hearing more and more that uh, loads of companies uh, from up through mid to, to downstream that would relate to LNG uh, business, that are really interested in, 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 in what's going on in Poland and what's going on in the, how we call it, the three seas region. Uh, and my second question, question relates to nuclear energy. You said LNG is uh, coming into its golden years. Some argue that nuclear energy is past uh, its yeah. prime, but yet Poland and the United States signed an MOU uh, for cooperation, for cooperation to bring civil nuclear energy uh, to Poland, is that some sort of breakthrough for a Polish uh, nuclear plant? Well, I, I still think it's a wishful thinking that and anyone is presuming that, that there might be a nuclear power plant built. The nuclear power plant as we know it, I mean, as we know projects that have been built in past decades, so like a you know, large scale re reactors, uh, 1.5 gigawatts or bigger, but around it. Uh, I think that um, it's more about looking into the future and positioning Poland as an important partner scientifically, 
um, for the United States for something that might come. And by that I mean uh, small modular reactors that you know, could be placed around and w will not require, will not be as demanding as a large-scale nuclear project. So if you were to ask me whether we're going to have a nuclear power plant out of it, no, <laughs> I don't believe it. But if it will bring something concrete in the future, I might presume that we might be, you know, becoming uh, like back in the game in terms of a more scientific research and development projects with the United States. Thanks, Michal. And we'll come back if there is something concrete in the future. As always. Thanks, Sasha. Mm -hmm.